hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and the continuation of the Aquitaine playthrough. I hope you are all doing well and still enjoying yourselves and keeping safe. We are continuing with Emperor Bartomeu, who is on his way out, I'm sure. But nevertheless, we'll be continuing for now. Um... We have got no stewardship perk to press. We could press something in Scotland. Forced vassalization is not going to work, sadly. Um, so that's probably not the best bet. Can I take France? I can take France, which is probably what we're going to do. We will take France. And that way, we will offer vassalage to the wee vassals to assume full dominance now over all of France and that just deals with that for us there we go just Provence who will not do it because he is the ex-king absolutely fine I'll go to war with him as and when needed Ransom for you, absolutely. That's all good. I hold too many duchies, I know, but what can you do, eh? Let's try and just ransom all that we can ransom, because I don't particularly... Is that someone related to me? No. So we'll leave that. What do we need to press? Uh, these guys are a little bit annoying. He won't join me though. Inspire Opus Franchigenium? A new age of art and discovery awaits us to drag Aquitaine out of these dark times and make our homeland the pulsating heart of Europe. We get the law High Crown Authority. The Ockerton culture discovers peerage. And we get flourishing culture for a long while. It's going to cost us 500 gold, but it's got to be worth it. Peerage, eh? Let's do it. Boom. That seems to have turned out quite nicely. Got some prisoners that still need to be ransomed, so I'm just going to do them manually because it doesn't seem to have done them by itself. But it's good because it's given us that bit of cash that we actually need. Because our cash flow is not the best. Holy Roman Empress, anything I can take from you? Go ahead and save Rose. Get all that prestige up there, that's beautiful. We're going to go to war for this. I will raise the troops from Paris. Provence, I mean, you're just ludicrous. You're absolutely just ludicrous. Let's send the troops across. Get going with that, because we might as well. Uh, how are we for f factions? What have we got? None to speak of, which is nice. Court politics is what we're on. I think we'll go to patronage for a little bit to get that research up and running. As we try and improve our holdings. Paris is upgrading its leisure palace. What about down here? Cordoba. We can pop. Actually, probably want to save a little bit of cash. In fairness, I think that's going to be our best bet. Um, also, be interesting to know if she's at war with anyone else. Yes, she is fighting Scotland. And Munster. So there is quite a bit going on for the dear old 
Duchess, or sorry, Empress of the Holy Roman Empire. Which is going to enable me to pick up these four provinces quite nicely, I would have thought. Any chance of a ransom for you? Uh, ten gold is something. Something's better than nothing. Granada. Ah, oh, we can upgrade these. These are fairly cheap. Cheap and cheerful is good enough for me. And we took another count as prisoner. And we are going to continue to press on there. I have to say, it's been quite nice to uh, go from Aquitaine and take over all of France. We managed to take more of Spain than we did France for a long, long time, but uh, then we did emerge very much victorious. And from there, it has continued to press, press on, which has been fabulous to see. So we're going to enjoy a feast with... The current emperor. Where's your capital? Oh, it's all the way in bloody Norway. Right, we'll stuff that. Just keep sieging other places. Because that's just not worth us doing anything. Um, no, we'll gain household efforts because that's going to be of more use. In fact, the Kaiserreich has just been taken prisoner. Unluckily for her. How's our court physician? She's uh, she's two. She's not bad. But their war has now ended, so it may well come that our war will require some battling of Holy Roman Empire troops, which will be fine. Uh, we are fully stacked in the... Uh, let's just get that piety, because we need some piety. I was going to say, I don't suppose he wants to go on a pilgrimage, but he'd probably die. I mean, he's 72 anyway, so he's going to die shortly. It is just a matter of time. Seventy three per cent now. And we've earned some good good gold from this. Uh what's wrong? Murders a court, confrontation, who's Ava? Sure, go and confront Ava about it. I don't know who she is, but it's one of my daughters? My granddaughter has managed to kill, oh wow, an empress and a sister. Well, I can kill her. Oh, go on then, kill her. That's just not on. You can't be killing a wife and other daughters. Can't abide by that, I'm afraid. We just took the Kaiserreich's... Kid, that's probably giving us some more. Oh wow, it's actually not giving us any war score. Ransom him then for the cash. Go up here, last siege. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's all done then. So we're now actually. Oh, we're nearly connected to the Kingdom of Bohemia that we managed to take away from them. Are you now ready to join us? No, you still refuse to join. I mean, it's a little annoying, but if he's not going to, then he's not going to.
Um, your kids are not going to be that impressive, are they? Right, we might have a slight inheritance problem. As and when. But let's see what happens. I want all those prisoners ransomed. That can be. And then I can continue to build up some improvements, not necessarily too many. I think we will build this just for that extra troop levy, which I might need on a personal front. That's all fine. Got some big claims in Poland. Big, big claims. That's going to be worth doing. So, let's go ahead and do it. Whilst we're still 70, whatever we are. How old are we now? 70... Hold on, let's just get the troops going over there first. We are 73. And we are getting on. But, I'm hoping we'll continue to live to live out this war. Beatrice can get married. Granddaughter, not set to inherit anything. Could give me an alliance with Jorvik. Danel, that's actually not a bad shout. You won't accept that, but you would accept that. My wife's pregnant as well. I need a lot of piety to do that. There's a schism. Oh, wow. Don't need to found a university. Can't do this because I've got two that have a crown. Oh, my God. How many people... How many armies have you got? Oh, you're just moving. To be fair, you're going to seize me pretty quickly. But that's fine. There's nothing I can do about it. I can have a hunt and move some stress. Not that I'm stressed, but we'll do it anyway. Keeps that prestige up because we're spending prestige. Friend of animals. What does that give me? Oh, I'll just take it. It's obviously a positive. Sadly, the flicking through things in that way is not the most ideal. Um, and if anyone knows in the comments of a way to fix this glitch of having zero garrison, then do let me know in the comments. It would be very helpful because it does cause these sieges to go that much quicker and it's kind of annoying because it's just not very realistic. They're probably going to end up finishing sieging this before I can even get to them there as well. Oh crap, I'm now actually dying. That's not ideal. Because I might have a peasant rebellion on my hand as well. So, we are going to save up our cash. Because I'm going to need it. Potentially for... Ah, you can finally do this, can you? Uh, just get tax man. Get in as much cash as you can before you actually die. Because we all know it's going to happen pretty shortly. Right, let's take back these bits of land. It's not going to take us long. Nugament. You want to name your daughter Nugament? Sure, why not? She doesn't have a particular proficiency in anything, so we'll just pop her there. We'll siege this, and then we'll just siege the capital in the hope that it'll get done quickly. We might be able to do it before our death. If we can, that'll be fantastic. But I'm not going to 
hold too much hope in there. We need to wait and see what what sort of score we get from that. Mm, not the best. We'll head north, head up to some of the wall school areas, and then we should be okay. Lots of children being returned. Still have a physician, so I'm not going to bother searching for a new one. We'll stick with what we've got. Hope that it's going to keep us alive, or he's going to keep us alive. For a little bit longer. Right, we're 81% now. Got good income for our son to inherit, so that's going to help him quite nicely. Should he need to hire any mercenaries, which I'm hopeful that he won't, but you never know. I think we actually pretty much eliminated the uh, Polish army. Oh, they are sieging now, unfortunately. Perfect. Ransoming you is going to bank me 50. So if I can get that paid... Thank you very much, Poland, for that land. That's very, very helpful. I will also ask you for gold, because that will be beneficial to our son. And that's probably going to be it for your life, I'd imagine. Bloody peasant rebels. Go and summon some troops here. Slightly annoying that they formed there, but the other thing is we need to actually address it because otherwise they will win, and this is potentially a big problem. Oh god, we've got people here as well. Let's raise some troops down here. Otherwise, we will have problems. Right. You've eliminated that one. You, know, you now need to eliminate this one. I've got Pravia under siege. Not quite sure why that one's under siege, but... Perhaps I'm missing where Pravia is. Ah, up north. I was missing it. Can you get them? It's going to cost us a bit, but that's fine. Go to Cordoba. It's another seven prisoners to be ransomed. Wow. I feel like they flicked on the uh, prisoner ease with which to take... Ah, okay, so that actually gave us the rebellion sorted. So that's now done. Anything in Paris to be built? No. You can build up some more logs. You can build up some more farms and fields. You can build me a barracks or regiment ground. Build me a regiment ground. You can upgrade the Alhambra Fortress, which will grant a lot of prestige. So that's actually worth it. And we'll save the rest of our cash. And ransom whoever needs to be ransomed. No more stewardships to be done. We're earning 181 gold. We're earning well. And we've taken nice swathes of Poland, good chunks of the Holy Roman Empire. 
Although they have just recovered a lot of troop count. I think they've ex they're expanding in Scandinavia quite a bit. Um, we don't have a lot of claims in Italy, it would seem. Which is not a problem. We can claim two from Sardinia. I don't think it's probably worth us doing. Particularly considering... Our current emperor is probably going to die within this episode, I would imagine. I could be wrong, but I would imagine. Uh, keep going with France. Ah, yes, this young man here. Force vassalization? No, I'd rather give it to someone else who actually matters. Watch us die with this war. Huh. Literally as I say it. It was inevitable, wasn't it? Um, right. What we certainly want to do is long live the Emperor. Pause. Sort this out. She'll certainly need to help us with court politics for now. Because I'll have... Untold people wishing to rebel against us. Danelaw has got to be on the council. Right, and we have a perk. We've got Architect. We're nearly at Avaricious. Okay, so we, you know, this guy's actually... I mean, he's 56 already. But he's done quite well. Our player air is a bit of a problem. But we'll see what happens. Holy schmoly. Yeah, we got some work to do here, lads. Get this war done with. What are we involved with here? A holy war, which we're not going to participate in. We have a new patriarch that we're just going to pay. That has ended that war. I'm apparently being sieged there, but I think probably not. So we can disband the troops. We can pick up a bunch of... T oh, wow, we can actually pick up the Kingdom of Poland. Wow. Right, well, let's do that because that's going to help with our prestige. Let's also make the Duchy of West Francia. Mm, pick up my old allies. Uh, West Francia. West Francia, there we go. Um, is she hostile? She is hostile. We will usurp that and give it two. What have you got, Bishop? You've got one. You've got a lot, so let's give you... That title. I need to try and have a feast, which I'm going to be able to do pretty pretty soon. Not quite now. I can donate to charity, but I can't because I'm commanding an army. So disband my army. What's the faction I need to work on? Liberty, understandably. Sway you. Funnily enough, my troop count is actually higher under this guy than the previous emperor. What does this give? We lose some stress if we donate to charity. Do it. God is generous. Uh, you might as well have your hunt now. Because you're earning exceptionally good money. How long do they have? Six months. Uh, and the independence faction as well. Poacher training is fine. Uh, I need to have that feast pretty badly. Uh, court politics is also quite abysmal. 
Um, okay, well, the more important faction here is this. To get sorted. They can send an ultimatum in four months. How much are you going to cost me? 150 is not too bad. Let's obtain some knowledge. Let's have this feast and make sure everyone likes us for it. Powerful vassal wants a council position. Yeah, but they're all powerful vassals. That's the problem. Right, so we gained Famous Reveler. It's not really helping my situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. Lower that down, which might give us something. It's not really giving us much, has it? No change in either. Right, we're going to go right down then. Do that. And then do that. So that deals with that faction. Now this faction we need to deal with. Let's send you a gift. Let's hope that you'll just come out of this. Now we need to sway you. Ooh, we might actually have a little bit of a problem. Can I sway the younger, weaker members of the group, perhaps? Have I got hooks? I have got hooks. I could imprison you. Oh, I've got too many held duchies. Okay, well that's a big problem. Let's get rid of this one. It's just not needed. Domingo. Have it. I don't need it. You want to see on the council. What's everyone else's gripe? Who are you? Oh, that's fine. Okay, they have just now declared war. With a lot of troops. Uh, we are going to have to uh, try and save the Empire. Oh. Which I don't think is going to be quite as easy as we would hope. This is not going to cost me anything though. And this one... bloody hell. That's pretty fantastic. I've also got... Um, I mean, you've got, you've got 2k, you've got 3k, take them, I will pick up the gold, and I will raise all, and see what happens. But, ladies and gentlemen, we will have to deal with this rebellion at next episode. I think it's going to be something we can deal with. Because, after all, they are split up. I go for Lotharingia, I think, off the bat. The only problem I'm going to have is that the glitch within the game of having zero garrison is a bit of a pain. But it is what it is, so we'll have to press on anyway. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen... Please do leave a like, subscribe, comment, all those good things. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Hello.